Welcome to our sanctuary here at Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Essex, Maryland, as we sing our October God on the Go hymn for this month. We'll be singing Amazing Grace. If you'd like to do some snapping or clapping along with me to keep the beat, and we'll make this energetic expression for God. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no last days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now i see well hi everyone and welcome back to god on the go it's so good to see you all again today we read from the book of ruth chapter 1 verses 1 through 18. it hadn't rained for a long time and there was very little food in Judah. So a man took his wife, Naomi, and sons and daughters-in-law to live in Moab where there was some food. Then Naomi's husband died. Ten years later, her sons also died, leaving behind their wives. Now Naomi heard that there was food enough in Judah again and wanted to return home. She took her two daughters-in-law, Orpa and Ruth with her. When they got there, Naomi told them to go back to their own families where they might have a chance for a better life. God bless you both, she said to them. She kissed them goodbye and they all hugged and cried together. We won't leave you, Naomi, they said. We will stay with you because you are our family now. Naomi said, but I can't provide you with husbands. Go on. 
don't worry about me. It will be far better for you to say goodbye to me and start a new life. They all cried again. Orpa kissed Naomi goodbye and went to find her family. But Ruth didn't budge. Go along with Orpa, said Naomi. But Ruth said, Don't make me leave you. Wherever you go, I will go. Your home will be my home. Your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. I will die where you die. May God grant me this. When Naomi was sure that Ruth meant it, she stopped begging her to go and lead a new life without her. You know, my friends, this story talks a lot about faithfulness, about being faithful. Do you know what being faithful means? Well, to be faithful means that we stay committed, that we see things through. Um, have you ever made a promise to someone? Being faithful would mean if you make a promise to someone that you keep it, even when it's not all that easy to do so. I know I've made promises before. I remember there was one time I promised my dad that I would wear a full-on suit and tie to worship every Sunday if he would just let me get my ears pierced. And you know what? My dad was faithful to that promise. He took me out and I got my ears pierced. But you know what? I really, really, really struggled to wear a suit and tie to worship every Sunday. The suit jacket was itchy. The tie was too tight. It was uncomfortable, stiff clothing. And if I'm being honest, I really wasn't that faithful with it. Granted, I would always go to worship. I was always there. I kept that part of the bargain. But I wasn't faithful in wearing that suit. It can be hard to keep promises, isn't it? You know, we take and we make promises to people and we mean to follow through with it, but sometimes it just gets really hard. And we see that in the story today with Ruth and Naomi and Orpah and God, that there is this faithfulness happening and people struggling with that. We see where God is being faithful to Naomi and her daughters-in-law by leading them to places where there is food and loving them and caring for them. And we see where Naomi is trying to be faithful to keep her promise to care for her daughters by sending them back to their family. She thinks that that is the best way to keep that promise. And Ruth Ruth, in particular, she stands into her promise with Naomi by staying with her rather than going back to her family, what might have been easier. She decided, no, I made a promise to stay with you. You're my family, and I'm going to keep that. I'm going to be faithful. Even if that meant for her to journey to a strange land with a strange people, to leave her whole home behind. But promises to be faithful is hard. We struggle with it. It's not always easy. And a lot of the times we fail. I failed when I didn't wear a suit. And for many of us, I'm sure there are times when we have just really struggled to keep a promise. But here's the powerful thing the miraculous thing, the thing to give thanks for. God is always faithful to us. God never backs away from a promise. God always does what she says she will do. Just think of all the amazing things that God blesses you with and keeps the promise. God promised to love us and uphold us. And God loves us every day, loves you every day and blesses you with all the things that you need, people around you who will love and support you, food on your table, a roof over your head. God is so good and is always faithful to us, even when we struggle to be faithful in return. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just a wonderful thing to remember? 
that even when we struggle to be faithful, to keep our promises, God still keeps the promises she makes with us and loves us through it all. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel really, really good and very thankful for God's presence in my life. So this week, for your activity, I want us to practice being faithful. You may have heard a phrase that's called, or that goes like this, practice makes perfect. And when we think about when we make promises and keeping them and being faithful, the more we try to do that, the more we practice it, the better we become at it. So the activity for this week, I invite you to make a promise to God for one week. It can be anything but promise to do something for God or with God for one week. It could be something like promising God that every single night this week, I will pray with my family before I go to bed. Or in the morning, I will read with my parents or my siblings one story from the Bible. Or maybe it's making a promise to God of, I will be kinder to my family, or maybe be kinder to someone who isn't all that nice to me at school. Or, and your parents may like this promise, making a promise to God to be more helpful around the house and to help your parents in what needs going on and doing in the home. Whatever it is, make a promise to God for one week and try and keep that promise, knowing that even if you mess up, God is always faithful to us, always is keeping that promise to love us and support us through it all. And because of that, we are motivated to be faithful to God, to keep our promises out of thankfulness for that love and presence. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for the faithfulness that you have to us. That no matter how much we struggle to keep our own promises, that you keep your promise to love us, to hold us, to be in our lives always. Help us to remember your faithfulness to us so that we can become better at keeping our promises to you and to those around us. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.